Hi, and thank you for joining me today. I'm going to jump right in and tell you about the colors I'm using for this painting. I'm using Pebio's Iridescent Blue Black, Artist Loft's uh, Metallic Black, Liquitex Iridescent Granite, mixed um, about three to one with Liquitex Silver, just wanted to lighten up the granite slightly. And this is Artist Loft Turquoise mixed 3 to 1 with Iridescent Green Blue from Pebio. And that's just some Artist Loft Fluoracrylic White. I start off here thinking I'm going to pour two cups exactly the same. But I also wanted to keep quite a bit of negative space, so I changed my mind and decided to start with one and pour another one if I need it. I don't have a real goal in mind here other than that I want to keep quite a bit of negative space. I want it to look rocky and watery and lots of white. So I'm using a 12 by 16 Artist Loft Value Canvas. I've already poured my base coat of white and gone over it several times with a torch to pop the bubbles so it's all ready to go. I cut that out of my video. It was um, not very exciting to watch and I'm sure most of you have seen putting down a base layer before. So I'm just layering my colors here. I don't have a lot of light colors. These are all pretty dark or intense colors um, with a little bit of white mixed in there. But I'm just going to give it a go and see what happens. So I'm using a small dustpan that I just bought at the dollar store. This is only my second dust pan pour, so I'm not overly confident in what I'm doing right now, <laughs> but hey, it's abstract art. Just have fun, throw some paint on the canvas and see what happens. I actually haven't been doing a whole lot of painting lately. I've been doing mostly resin art, so it's really nice to work in the paint here today. I'm going to cover up that little bloob that I made on the on the canvas. So this painting is part of a collaboration with a group that I'm in on Facebook called Little Pouring Art Family. It's a small group of artists that um, share our experiences and our art. There's a lot of collaborations and challenges within the group. And this time I was chosen to be the one that sets the parameters for the challenge. So the challenge that I chose was the dust pan pour using three or four colors plus a base coat and to use any shade of blue. So the iridescent blue black is is the blue that I chose. I actually meant to use a different blue. I think I had phthalo blue and brilliant blue pulled out to mix and I don't know if I got distracted or what happened but as I was laying my paint so what I realized I really didn't have like a medium hue blue so the iridescent blue black it is um it's got blue in the name so it has to qualify as a blue right that's <laughs> that's my thinking so as I'm laying this down, I didn't particularly like what I did with that first um, that first go round. I felt like I put it too much in the middle of the canvas, which I don't like, and too straight across, which I also don't like. But as I thought about it, I thought, well, I can tilt it and hopefully get it stretched out and not have such a straight line across. And then I ran out of paint 
as I poured that second part down in the corner. But again, I was like, well, I'll just pour off, pour off that little weird spot that's there and see what happens. I'm happy that I still have a lot of white. I'm happy that the colors are staying nice and intense. They're not washing out very much or really at all. And yeah, so far I'm pretty happy with it. My paint is a little on the thicker side. It's not as thick as I would use probably for um, like a flip cup or like a true ring pour, but it's probably medium thick, I would say. The inspiration that I had for this these colors, um, I went kayaking with a friend of mine I live in southern Alberta, and I'm only about an hour away from the Rocky Mountains. And there's a national park that's, oh, I guess, about an hour and a half away from me. And we decided to go kayaking on one of the lakes that's in the park. And uh, it was really windy, so we were constantly paddling, constantly battling the waves and the wind trying to push our boats around. Um, but the colors were so beautiful. The The water was crystal clear around the edges. It was the quintessential beach scene with the rocks and the clear water that you could see the rocks through. Um, the turquoise and then fading out into darker and darker blues. And we kind of got out a little bit farther away from shore and were crossing a bay and the water was almost black. And I said to my friend, how deep do you think this water is right here? That you know the water's crystal clear, and it's, but it's black as night. Um, I'll have to research and see exactly how deep that lake is. But it was so beautiful with the mountains and the clear water and the rocks. And even though it was very windy, it was a really nice trip. I'm just pouring some white along the edges there because I had a little bit of color showing through as I poured it off. It kind of leaves that, you know, that color residue that you've just poured it off, but it's still not quite bright white. Bright white. So I poured a little white over top of it to get rid of that smudgy, muddy look. And even though this looks, this top part on the right hand side looks a little bit too straight, I think it's moving nicely with the way that I kind of poured back and forth, giving me that white cap wavy look. I'm very out of practice with pouring and tilting, and I think I'm just going to be happy that it's not a complete disaster. I actually I quite end up liking it in the end. Make sure you check out all the other artists and their videos. Not every artist is going to be doing videos. Some of them have uh, Facebook pages and their art will be posted for this collaboration on their Facebook page. I will put the links to the group and to the, all the other artists down in the description below. So I'm just looking at it here, thinking I'm going to leave well enough alone. I'm not going to do too much more tilting or ruin this because I'm pretty happy with it at this point. little bit of a torch to pop some bubbles. I had let my paint rest overnight, so it's actually not too bad. I 
And then I decide I need to do one more thing. So as I stood back and looked at it, I decided I don't like that straight line that's up in that corner there. I don't like straight lines in my paintings. Um, nature bores a straight line, so I figure I have to go in and adjust that a little bit. So I just take a little bit of paint and make a few small puddles along that straight line. And using the weight of those little puddles, I'm just going to tilt the canvas a little bit to push that line and just give it a little bit of shape. And just plucking up a few little dark spots that popped up. Thanks so much for watching my video. If you haven't subscribed or you're not a subscriber yet, please consider hitting the subscribe button and hitting the like button if you like this video. I'm so happy to be back. I had some technical issues in the spring. I couldn't get any videos loaded. I'm hoping that this is loaded. If you're listening to me talk, obviously I was able to get it loaded onto my channel and um, I will hopefully see you again soon. Thanks for hanging out.